God says he sits inside their hearts, notes their actions, and dispenses the results. On the other hand, for those who turn their mind away from worldly attractions and look upon God as the goal and refuge, he takes care of them just as a mother takes care of her child. He serves the surrendered souls by destroying their accumulated karmas of endless lifetimes, cutting the bonds off, removing the darkness of material existence, and bestowing divine bliss, divine knowledge, and divine love. And when the devotee learns to love God selflessly, he willingly enslaves himself to their love. Having learned about the surrendered soul's desire, how does he respond to the request? He says that he treats all requests like an impersonal computer system. Whatever we input, similar will be the output. If someone truly and deeply desires a promotion and works hard towards it, he will get it. Similarly, if someone truly and deeply desires moksha or realization of the eternal essence and puts in the effort, he will get it. The power of the Lord is impartial. It is without any prejudice or hatred, just like electricity. One may harness electricity to power a fan, to light a room, to watch television and so on. Electricity will never say, I do not like television, so I will not power it, but I will power the fan. God's actions are based on laws, just like the laws of nature. Now time for today's affirmations. This week, I am focused on trust. Trust that source knows what I want and has already prepared it for me. Trust that I am being guided on my journey with all the support I need. Trust that I will welcome more as I continue to focus on gratitude. Trust that I am getting closer and closer to what I desire every day. I trust that all is well because things are working out for me. I promised myself to stay committed to my vision. Six months from now, I want to look back and have no regrets. I want to look back knowing I gave it my all. Staying committed to my vision will require me to step out of my comfort zone more often than I'd like to. It'll require me to stay disciplined, even when it's hard to. I am not about the all hustle and no play mentality. Play is how we refuel our soul and nurture our creativity. I also understand that to get to where I want to go, being grounded and feeling safe in my body is a must. I see the version of me that I desire to be so clearly, and every day I commit to embodying her more and more. And they made a calf in those days and offered sacrifice unto the idol and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Then God turned and gave him up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. It doesn't matter what you're going through, depression, sickness, heartache, pain, stress, financial hardships, or homelessness. Sooner or later, it will all turn around for you. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.